Hi, it's Steve Sorensen, commercial manager at Philip Chevrolet in Frankfort, Illinois. I want to show you one of the units that I've been carrying in inventory that's had a lot of popularity with a lot of the guys here. Um, as you know, with the auto worker strike of 2019 and with COVID, we've had a hard time getting Silverado 3500 chassis and with dump trucks and service bodies and flatbed stake bodies and stuff like that. So what we have been able to get for our Chevrolet inventory though has been these low cab forwards and it's available in a 3500, 4500, 5500. You can even go to a true medium duty 66, uh, 6500 which gives you the 22 and a half inch wheels that you can do a box truck with dock height and stuff like that. So what I did with this guy, this is a 109 inch wheelbase. This is a 3500, it's a 12,000 pound GVWR, and, uh, which means you can put a D-plate on this truck. And what I do is I always use Galleon beds, because Galleon can get me beds in like three to four weeks here and locally. If I go to Napite or if I go to uh, Monroe, I generally have to pull right out of their stock, and if I need to get a bed from them made, it usually takes me a little bit while, a while longer to get them. But Galleon's, Galleon's been a company in the Chicagoland area for, I guess, decades from what I've heard. So they make a really quality product, and the thing I love about it is it's powder-coated black. It's not painted, it's powder-coated. So and there's an electric process that they hook it up, and it basically sucks the product on the, on the truck, and then they bake it, and it turns into this really hard, uh, enamel-like surface. So I've got guys that have been using these beds for a long time and they absolutely love them. So people like them, I keep rolling with them. So, and they're not that expensive. You can buy a bed like this for, this is a 13 inch drop side. You can get this bed for like nine grand. You go to a, you go to an 18 inch drop side, it's a little bit higher. And then I also have trucks that are coming that have got the 14 foot bed on these galleons. And what it does is it gives you a, a split drop side. So you've got probably a 14 foot truck. You've probably got two six foot panels with a center partition here. So you can just drop half of it if you needed to. A lot of guys will actually run two by four or two, two by twelves here, and they'll run one by fours here, and they'll stack three of them on top, and they'll, they'll frame it here, they'll frame it here, and they'll have a nice uh, 36 inch top side on top of this, so it gives them a four foot high bed. Um, let me start this thing up. What's nice about these low cab forwards, they've got a great tight turning radius, and guys go, well, I can't snow plow with it. Well, you actually can put a snow plow on these trucks. And uh, what a lot of guys will do with these trucks is since they turn, tight, um, they utilize these trucks for snow plows. And what you can do is you can put a salt spreader in the back end of this truck, take that back gate off and put a nice tornado salt spreader in the back end of this thing. It gives you that extra weight that you need in the winter time for traction when you're snow plowing. So it's a great little maneuverable truck about for, um, for snow plowing. Um, truck comes, I always put these uh, seat covers on these trucks. It gives them extra uh, durability, lifetime. When it comes from the factory, it's kind of got this like fine thread uh, type fabric on these seats. And I think over time they wear out. So I always order these heavy duty seat covers for every one of my units. Tilt, cruise, Bluetooth, AM, FM, radio, um, all built into the system. So um, I want to show you this galleon bed. And uh, what's kind of cool about this also, I don't know if this is going to shut off for safety, but it might. But if you ever need to work on this truck, all you need to do is um, you take this, pull here, pull this safety, sorry, lift this up, lift the safety up, and it actually tilts the cab. So low cab forward. So what's easy is if you ever have to get it in for service or you want to change the spark plugs on it or anything like that, it's easy access for the mechanic to get in and out. Less labor, less time to get in and, and get, get your uh, vehicle serviced or get any repairs done to it. So this is the six liter. Uh, GM motor that's coming in it and within the next few months our next motor is going to be the 6.6 that's coming in it So the one that's in the Silverado 25 3500 so um, really easy to pull this back put this here drop it down Locks into place Push it here. You're good to go. Nice about these galleon beds I just want to show you so you can see the underside of these beds I'll show you the hoist and everything Just lift this puppy up um, Truck is lifted uh, with a electric over hydraulic hoist and this hoist is uh, actually good for 16,000 pounds. You won't be able to put 16,000 pounds in this truck obviously because of its GVR, GVWR only being 12,000 but you still should be able to put a couple ton on this chassis, two to three ton on this chassis without having any problem. It's a champion hoist. Um, we've been using these for a long time and uh, what's nice about these galleon beds is drop this handle here your back gate will actually lay down like this or it'll actually will open it up and, and with these chain guides that you got in the back you can control how far the bed opens up so you can like lay a nice 
nice layer of gravel down on a road, whatever you need to do. What's nice about these galleon beds is each one of these supports is 12 inch on center, all powder coated, and each one of these supports has extra welded framework on both sides of it just for added security or added stability and, and, and strength. So Galleon has made a great bed for us for a long time. And as you can see, nice flat top frame rail right here. It makes it easy for an upfitter to be able to just drop that bed on, bolt it on, and, and, and carry on. So all my medium duties, 4,500, 55, 6,500 Silverados that come out of the factory, all have that nice, clean, flat frame rail. Upfitters absolutely love that. So this is a 3,500 chassis. I can get this chassis in a 4,500 also, which moves you up to 14,500 pounds. And uh, I can usually get those chassis dropped off at my upfitter in probably two to three weeks. And I can get a bed in about three to four weeks. So whatever you guys need, if you want to put a a particular vehicle together just call me and we can sit down and I get pricing and everything I also carry this truck in, in crew cab I've got a couple 3500s over here on the side that I've already got in stock for 3500s and that's been a uh, very popular model for us also so like I said 3500 4500 5500 however much weight you need to carry we can get these low cab forwards um, you can get a 4500 in gas and then you can also get it in a diesel truck. So when you go 3500 it's gas, but 4500 is when the little four, the, the little uh, the 5.2 diesel engine comes into play. It's an inline four cylinder. Um, pistons in that thing have got to be like coffee cans. It's a, it's a little four cylinder but it carries a lot of, a lot of bang for a Duramax. So um, if you have any questions or like to sit down and uh, put one of these trucks together for your fleet, Give me a call, Steve Sorensen at Phillips Chevrolet. My phone number is 815-469-2323, extension 398. I appreciate your time and have a great day.